Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marinol Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 21, verses 15 to 17. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the life of perhaps one of the most popular and widely known Martin saints of recent memory, St. John Paul II, Pope. Born into a Polish family on May 18, 1920, St. John Paul II's life, then known as Karol Joseph Wotilia, was marked with hardships and trials early on. He lost both of his parents and his older brother and endured the outbreak of World War II in his home country of Poland, all before entering the seminary. Not only that, his entire priesthood, starting from presbyter to bishop to cardinal, was during and within the confines of the Iron Curtain of the Soviet Union. Even his papacy was not free from personal trial. On May 13, 1981, he was shot four times by a would-be assassin at St. Peter's Square in Rome, whom he later visited in prison and forgave upon his recovery. Despite all these challenging events in his life, St. John Paul II remained optimistic and hopeful, so much so that he described himself as a witness to hope at a UN General Assembly in 1995. In his 27 years as Pope, John Paul II wrote 14 encyclicals and 5 books, canonized 482 saints, and beatified 1,338 people. He also made pastoral visits to over 124 countries. One cannot deny his steadfastness and testament to his faith and love for Christ and his people, which is quite saintly given the circumstances of his life and encounters. He was a true pastor and still one as a saint in heaven, never ceasing to intercede for all of us. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and saintly day. If you enjoyed this reading, please make sure that you subscribe to the Daily Gospel Readings and Reflections. And if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading specifically, make sure you share it with them. If you'd like to learn more about how you can support the transformative work that Marinol Fathers and Brothers do around the world, visit us at marinolsociety.org. If you'd like to sign up to our online magazine, feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today. God bless.